So using the clear tube this time, we're going to do just a little micro tube. And there's a lot of things said about micro tubes, and people get a little bit confused. What is a micro tube? Um, and we think in trout flies, micro being really, really small. But in salmon fishing, micro is not that small, but maybe smaller than the norm. So I've just burrowed over the inner tube, just so I can get a little tiny bit of inner tube into my, my main tube. And this time, I'm basically just using the main tube for holding the hook. So I'm going to cut it off so it's just really taking the the eye of the hook. I'm then going to take one of the little small plated brass tubes and slide that down to butt up onto a little piece there. We're now going to put that onto a pin and with some black thread We're just going to put a few turns of thread right in on the shoulders of our little silver tube. Now again, I like this yellow and black, white and black. I'm going to take a little bit of white this happens to be runner but any white material white funky fiber anything like that will do we're just gonna trim that off again close to the skin remove those they're like a guard hair runner is a strange thing it's, it comes from a horse and it's got a strange guard hair to it so we're gonna hold that I'm gonna run the comb through the base of the fibres and we're just going to put that and we want it to extend just just past where the hook's going to be we'll just put a turn of thread over the top of that and that's going to kick up a little bit because of the the shoulder on the tube that's only going to be a little tiny kick just for now so there's there's our underwing on him and with this I'm not too worried about nipping it off in small sections but because it's sort of a habit with me I, I still can't chop something off in one big lump what we're going to add to it now we're going to go back to a good old fox because fox is at its best on these smaller flies in my opinion Again cut right in at the skin. We're going to take our knit comb and we're just going to comb that under fur out and then remove those tips same as we have before. So I'm just going to reverse that hair now and I'm going to tie this little bit of fox in on top of the runner but in the opposite direction so it's actually looking forward I'm tying it right in at the at the base and we'll just trim them off a little bit making sure that we don't cut any of our runner fibre Again, I'm just going to take a little bit of the varnish and I'm just going to take the tiniest dab of varnish just to go in there, making sure that we don't get it up on the fibres. So we're almost there. We just want to add a little hackle into this and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a teal feather. That's perfect because what I don't want is the teal extending further than the wing. 
same as we have with every other hackle we're tying it on 45 degrees we're pulling the stalk back getting another turn get one more just to make sure that's secure and then we're going to nip for the quill off we have to use a hackle plier with something like teal teal partridge all these things we need a hackle plier and I'm just going to then give this one turn with the teal and then tie it off and you don't have to use teal for this you can use any hackle you want you don't have to just do this with micro tubes you can do it with all all sorts of tubes and just a couple of turns to tie that feather off and then with the point of the scissors we can go in and just remove the waste didn't quite get it all off then I'm just going to push the tip of the scissors in and we've got that nice teal which we're now going to sweep back along with the wing we're going to sweep the whole thing back and just put a little turn of thread in front just to lock that hair back in the direction we want it to go in just turn it around check that the teal is evenly spaced around the hook sometimes you have to just manipulate it again and come down I've left the tube fairly long but as long as you can whip finish with your fingers that's not going to be a problem so we come over slide that down in yeah I'm happy with that so we'll cut the thread off and now I'm going to take my little silver comb and slide that down and over and that's going to help to shape everything back in the right direction it's covering all of the tie-in because the cone is now actually almost over a little silver tube and then it's just a case of cutting the tube off just proud of our cone head and then taking a cauterizer or a lighter so just taking the cauterizing tool and just melting that back now we could have used a fluorescent inner tube which would have then given this a little red dot at the front or or some sort of fancy color on the end red or yellow or whatever we wanted I'm still quite quite fond of, of the clear and just having the, the feathers and fur. So there we have a little microtube, black and white, with a little silver sleeved body, a little brass cone on the front end. And yeah, it's not micro micro, but it's along the lines of the micro tubes it's also very heavy and being heavy and small in that way it'll sink very very quickly and put you right in touch with the fish mm -hmm.